Hello, welcome to Rosie's Francis Art. Uh, thank you for um, watching today. Anyhow, um, sorry that I have not posted anything lately, however, because of my uh, camera. So I had to get a new camera. So hopefully we shouldn't have any more uh, technical difficulties, like they so call it. Anyhow, um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a velvet coaster, okay? Um, with those curves and crevices um, they do sell the molds however I'm gonna make my own and not the mold but I'm going to make it um, with the resin and see how it turns out I've never done this before it will be the first time that I'm gonna do it um, however let's see how it, how it works out I did see it a tutorial on it on uh, YouTube um, and it looked like it was a pretty easy process so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this round uh, mold just a simple round coaster mold um, it's a nice little size so um, and that's the one I'm going to go ahead and use um, I was going to use this big one but then I decided I'm going to go with the smaller one first and see how it sort of comes out and then if it does really well whatever then I'll go ahead and I'll do a larger one so I am going to do that, but before we start, I just want to show you the stuff that I've been working on. I did do this beautiful platter. I love it. It's so pretty. It's got crushed um, uh, glass, and um, it just came out really pretty. It came out really, really nice. So I'm going to get a stand and put it on the bottom, a gold stand that I ordered. So hopefully it'll come soon, and then it'll be sitting very nicely. I also did for a second I did this beautiful bowl I had done one in the beginning a while back ago but this one just came out really 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 pretty I love it it's gorgeous it's so smooth the colors no air bubbles nothing and what I liked about this bowl I love the resin that I used and I'll show you which one it was in just a second um, I still have to just sort of you know file the edges a little bit but other than that this bowl came out beautiful so I can just set it um, I was thinking of probably getting also a stand, a gold one really pretty and keeping it and have it higher up. So I haven't decided, so we'll see what I'll do, but I think I might do that. But it's just really pretty. It came out so pretty, you can just see that. But it came out gorgeous, I love it. And then the other one I did, which I like as well, is this one. This is just a plain platter. So um, I did this one, so what I'm gonna do with this one is also get a silver stand and put it in the bottom in the back and I'm gonna do that with this one also I used um, that new resin which I really liked actually the thing about that resin though it did cure fast so I wasn't able to shape it the way I wanted it so I just kept it like a platter and then I'll just put a stand on it and have it like a plate platter so I think that will look really 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 nice um, and you can put a cake on it you can put um, cupcakes on it you can do pretty much anything with it um, so once I get that stand in there I'll go ahead and attach it to the back and yeah so this is really really pretty I really like this one a lot as well so anyhow let's go ahead and get started let me put this down here let me put that down there okay so I have my mold that I'm going to use um, I already did my resin now my resin um, I'm going to use my Nick Pro since I had a little bit left and I want it not to waste it, obviously use it all. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and try this one. Um, I was going to use a thicker uh, resin, but I decided not to. I'm going to go with the thinner resin, a clearer resin, and see how that works. Okay, so I got that. Um, and it's not that much, so I already measured it. So I have in here, it's about maybe uh, about three ounces okay of resin so I am going to use that that's pretty clear actually it's very clear I do have some bubbles but I'll go ahead and use my heat gun to sort of get rid of those bubbles and then the powders that I'm going to use I'm going to use two colors I'm going to use um, from Pearlex uh, Aztec gold I don't know if you can see that and then I'm going to also use the antique copper um, now this is uh, going to take a couple steps, okay? Because remember, I'm doing the resin, so my resin has to at least uh, be sitting for about maybe six hours or so. So I'll come in here and check on it, and then I'll go ahead and continue on the video and get the finished process. But um, and I'm going to use clean 
wrap as my plastic because it's light and it's easier to sort of make those little crevices in there. So I'll be using that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. So I got my resin and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour it into my mold. Oh, let's see how this works. Oh my God. Let me get, sorry, excuse me. Let me get my paper towel. Put it here on the side. So let's see how this comes out. Lord, Ugh. never tried this, but we're gonna try it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour my resin. And it is perfectly enough. Cause I don't wanna fill it all the way to the top because I don't want it to leak over to the side. And remember, I am gonna add another coat at the end of my resin with the black. So, that's why I don't want to use all of it. Now I do have some little air bubbles in there, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my heat gun real quick and get rid of those air bubbles. In there. Still have some in there. Let's see what happens. I'm going to sort of do that. Get that in there. Is it clearing up? It is. It's clearing up. What is that? Is that a... That looks like... I don't know. It looks like a silver. Let me get that out of there. I don't know what that is. Got that out. It's like little silver... Parts of... I don't know if it's... There it is. A flake or what? Okay. So... Yeah, let's see. So there it is. It's not pulled up to the top, which is good. Because I don't, hopefully it won't, you know. Let me go ahead and get some more of that air bubbles out. Oh no, let's see what happens. So, let me go ahead and get my little, let's see what happens here. Just sort of pop those air bubbles on the corner. I don't want any air bubbles in there. There we go. Okay. Looks like they're starting to come out. Just sort of. There we go. And I got something else in there. Huh. All right. There we go. All right. Looks pretty clear. Now what I'm going to do is I got my clean. So I am going to sort of, let me see, do something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get my scissors. I'm going to cut. Put that aside. So here is my clean, and it is clingy. So let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to just lay it on top. Stretch it out, stretch it out, stretch it out as much as I can because I don't want to have any air pockets inside my mold here, which I do have air pockets in there. So I'm going to have to probably see if I could get those air pockets out. I do have an air pocket there. There we go. Uh, get that one out if I can. There we go. Stretch it out as much as I can. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and crinkle it up, loosen it up a little bit, loosen it up a little bit, and just make a design. Oh, cool. And just sort of make those little I think it yeah, looks pretty good. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it like that. It looks great already. It's got these really cool little curves on it, little curvatures and stuff on there. So, um, and that's it. It's perfect. It's not overflowing, which is what I wanted. Um, so yeah, it looks really, really good. I'm really happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let it sit here 
So I'm gonna let it sit hopefully, let's see, maybe for uh, six hours or so, um, maybe less hopefully. Uh, I'll come and look at it and see what it's doing, but I can tell you already that the shape is unbelievable. It's got all these wonderful little um, curvatures and um, uh, indentions, and it just looks really, really cool. So let's see what hay opens. Oh, I really like this. So I'm just going to let it sit, and then we'll come back. Um, I'll check on it, and then we'll finish the process, okay? So see you soon. Thanks.